without power, which is going to be a frustration. But again, this uh, easing of the weather and that system pushing further north and easing has meant that that immediate threat is over. But these floodwaters with such a swollen catchment are going to remain for at least quite a few days. The UK is waking up to another round of government ministers quitting as pressure mounts for Prime Minister Boris Johnson to step down from the top job. Your correspondent Nick Dole joins us now from London. Nick, Boris Johnson is really clinging to power tonight. If he doesn't step down, what would need to happen to force his removal? Well, MPs would need to change the rules to force his removal because currently he is protected uh, by party rules because he survived the no-confidence vote last month. He's protected for another 11 months. But just in the last few minutes, uh, there have been several reports that the Prime Minister has seen uh, what his many, many colleagues have been telling him, that he simply cannot command the support of his party anymore, that he has lost the support uh, of the Conservative uh, Parliamentary Party. Uh, you've just seen uh, these four-wheel drives leave, leaving number 10 Downing Street. They're uh, the ones that the Prime Minister usually travels in. We're not expecting uh, to hear from him in the next few minutes, but we are told that the Prime Minister has decided uh, that uh, it's time to go. Uh, one of the catalysts for this, Lara, was uh, the new Chancellor, Nadim Zahawi. He has only been in the job for under two days and uh, just in the last hour he tweeted that Prime Minister this is unsustainable surely you can see that this is hurting the party you need to go so the support has been leaving uh, him uh, for the last uh, day or so and just in the last hour uh, things have got really critical for the Prime Minister and we're expecting uh, pretty soon to hear uh, from him officially uh, that he is going to go. I'm sure we will. Nick Dole, thanks so much. Reporting there from London. Well, in other news, the Attorney General has ordered the Commonwealth to drop the prosecution of lawyer Bernard Colliery. Reporter Elizabeth Byrne has more from Canberra. Well, today he said he was using... His... For the first time in 13 years, the value of coal exports rose to $14.7 billion in May, compared with $14.5 billion for the value of iron ore exports. And that's the latest from the Finance Desk. Researchers in Melbourne say hospital readmissions for asthma in children are on the rise and many of them could be prevented. NASA plans to come back, uh, you know, in all the cadets yet and we hope that this really turns into a successful commercial venture. Here in this shed, technicians are putting the finishing touches on this suborbital sounding rocket named JUICE, which is set for takeoff from the Arnhem Space Centre on the 12th of July. Until then, NASA is relishing in last night's launch and the opportunity to shoot for the stars. Matt Garrick, ABC News, Nullanboy. We're getting reports now that Boris Johnson is set to resign from his position as the British Prime Minister. There are some pictures coming through live now from 10 Downing Street. This is in London. It comes as over 50 ministers have resigned from his cabinet. Those who have departed say that they can no longer serve under Mr Johnson's leadership and a Downing Street source says a new party leader will be installed by the time of the party conference in October. There are also some reports that Boris Johnson has expressed that he wants to stay on until a new Tory leader will be in place. It's still not clear when that would be, but we know that Boris Johnson has been under increasing pressure in the last few days to step aside. This comes a month after that he survived a no-confidence motion as well with the support of his party. So this is quite a rapid-moving story and we'll be bringing you more details as it comes to hand. Flood hit residents in parts of Sydney have returned to their properties to assess the damage. Husnia Shams reports. As weather conditions ease and floodwaters recede, some residents here in Sydney's northwest have begun the massive clean-up. Moderate flooding is easing along the...